so hello guys so today we'll be seeing into browser base that is an ai browser agent so uh, let me show you one thing so let me show you uh, you can see that you, you may be heard of uh, you may heard of cloud computer use open ai operator um, then there is browser browser use that is open source uh, let wait let me show you the repo yep here it is do give it a star uh, it's in python so what it does is like it's an ai agent means which can handle all the tasks in the browser like whatever things that are in the browser we can handle using browser base like ai means that's basically ai who will handle it like we'll give the task like uh, uh, buy me a ticket uh, of, of of a flight from somewhere to somewhere we'll have to like mention everything in the prompt uh, in the task detaily and it will do the job and the better model you use the better um, results you will get like you you may also see the thumbnail that is about uh, scraping yeah you can scrape it means many things like any any website um, any website you are in you can scrape scrape that with uh, browser use you can also structure those those scrape data i uh, wait i will show you the code uh, so here is it here is the there they also have this uh, browser in the cloud that is browser use cloud so um, means using this will means not use your own browser rather use a cloud service provided by browser use so uh, not going into this so when you click on here you will go into their docs that is the intro introduction and let me go to the quick start yep so basically uh, you will need python 3.11 also you will need uv package manager that is here uh, you can go to uv um, uv docs and see the installation steps of uv uv is just basically a package manager for python so you can install that uh, whichever os you are in then uh, coming back to here uh, you can basically start this like uh, uv like in it the project create a folder and uh, run this command uh, and these commands like for mac this and uh, you basically know uh, going into that vnv virtual environment then browser use install instance of browser use and then you have to also install playwright because under the hood it's using browser use is using playwright yep so i have done these steps um, yep i have done these steps and wait let me empty this file yep i have done all the steps like uh, installation and yep all the installation so let me create an agent from scratch uh, to show you um, i'll be not using open ai this is using chat open ai i will be rather using gemini because it's free so um, we'll not use anthropic not azure uh, yep gemini so what you need to do is just copy here the and paste it and um, what you will see like this uh, all the imports uh, this thing and for running i show, show, show the code here yep here is the main function huh. so pasting this here mm, yep that's it that's it uh, also one thing you need to install this langchain google uh, gen ai just do a pip install or uv add uh, langchain google uh, gen ai uh, this package is also required for running this program so Mm, then we need to yep, we need to go to AI Studio that is for getting our Gemini API key from here. Yep, you when you click on get API key, you will see this and just click on create API key. I have already created this test API key for now and I'll copy it and I think I have already have this. So I already have this. So mm, Gemini API key and mm, yep, um, it's taking the environment from here and yep uh, that's it that's it uh um, yep so i'll give a task that's like the simple code like how many lines 21 lines of code yep you can get started with just 25 uh, 21 lines of code so then let me uh, give another task not this one not comparing yep we'll take this one yep go and scrape the contents in the grid profile of the episode editor, that is my profile and prepare a report of that profile nice then what we will do is we'll just uh, take this in uh, f string so that uh, it uh, we know that where is the beginning of the print statement then what we'll do oh we'll also need import async io without that we can't um, asynchronously run this so yes so that's it um, then we just need to run this uv run uh, make sure you are in the virtual environment that you have created so uv run what is test.py okay let's see hmm. now we'll see a chrome browser popping up 
that's chromium yep you will see here chromium so that's using play right under the hood so yes that's my profile let's see this in action mm -hmm, nice hmm you can see under the hood it's taking the steps by the ai agent hmm nice also one thing i forgot to tell menas ai that was booming the last one to one or two weeks that also that is also using menas ai well that is also using browser use under the hood so yep so browser is is a nice open source library for doing such things, such stuff the results yep uh, the results may not be that much good using gemini so yes prefer using more open ai or cloud models if you have got it and for free you can use all of course use gemini yep hmm so yeah let's see let's extract it out yes that's the extracted content uh let's take this and uh let's see yep let's take this and see in a separate file what it has generated hmm. so yep let's see uh extract all the information yep this is the goal uh, interact element uh, none text the github profile is this one has the following information name that's sorry i use a name this bio this this and uh, my uh, links twitter profile all the guys are here mm -hmm. like it's basically created a report sort of thing um, it's not pretty, pretty good enough that so because i have not mentioned the prompt clearly enough but it's okay but let's see one another useful thing so in their docs so where is it yep so they have something called um yep connect your browser like you can also connect your own browser now what you saw one chromium tab is opening that is not your own chrome browser so you can use your own chrome browser using uh yep, your own chrome browser that you are logged in suppose you are logged in on instagram and um without the log without logging into instagram you can't scrape instagram because it shows a pop-up I guess you have means you have seen this. So, with using your own browser, you what you can do is like you have already logged in to the Instagram account. You can scrape that because you will not be shown the pop up, right? So, like it's uh, means one of the best tool for scraping. So then it have like output format. Yep. Let me show. I have tried this output format. Uh, where is the yep in the main dot pi? Uh, no, not this one. Um, so yep um, i guess that's not here so i have already tested out the um, where is it yep uh the output format like you can give the uh, base model from you can take the base model from uh, pydentic and uh give it in a controller and put this controller inside the agent where is it yep put this controller inside the agent and what the agent will do is give the results according to this base model uh, that is according to this structure so then you can like uh, print those according to that like uh, title what is the title post url comments accordingly you can uh, print that or you can also save it to your own local like local md file uh, so that's a very useful uh, feature you can change the system prompt yep uh, so yep sensitive data uh, you can also see that sensitive for sensitive data like uh, you don't want the the ai agent to uh, know your sensitive like you have your x password or x uh, username and you don't want the ai um, like the uh, the ai agent which is working under the hood you want do, you don't want the llm to expose your these values so you can put this inside uh, sensitive data it's also a nice feature you can also check out their other things other stuff these are some of the like uh, the output format is the like very useful thing um, and uh, apart from that yes so that's basically browser use like mm, you can use it uh, for a lot of a bunch of stuff like i was thinking of making an agent which will scrape the linkedin data like for the job search it will uh, do a job search and uh, take all the scraped data and uh, like prepare a nice um, like prepare a nice format uh, of report or a json file where all the Mm, all the jobs um, that are scraped mm, that's a uh, that are latest and scraped uh, we can show there so i was thinking of creating that and we can we can also dive into this browser use if you want like uh, do comment uh, in the video 
do you want uh, more in depth uh, like code or any specific agent using this browser use or not and i will uh, try to create that and uh, yep that's it for this video i guess you like it uh, do try it out do give it a try like i have been like i have enjoyed using this and i will be more using this so yes that's it and do like and comment and share subscribe <laughs> you know all the things and yes peace